morning and welcome to Steady News. I'm Susan Story. And I'm Tilly Tail. All this week we've been training up some excellent young people to be expert newscasters. We have and we've been finding out about the greatest story ever told, following Jesus and his friends. That's right, and they've been on so many adventures this week. First of all, we saw Jesus ride into Jerusalem on a donkey and everyone waved palm leaves in the air. Then a woman poured perfume all over Jesus. He then ate a meal with all of his friends where it was revealed that he was going to be betrayed. Then we saw him get arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane and then die on the cross. But then he came back to life again. It's been a very exciting week. A really amazing week and such an amazing story. Yeah, but I was wondering, Susie, yeah? what happened after Jesus came back to life? Like, I knew he had a big party with his friends, but what happened after that? Well, it's funny you should say that, Tilly. I've got just the story tape for you. During the 40 days after Jesus suffered and died, he appeared to the apostles from time to time and he proved to them in many ways that he was actually alive and he talked to them about the kingdom of God. So when the apostles were with Jesus, they kept asking him, Lord, has the time come for you to free Israel and restore our kingdom? He replied, The Father alone has the authority to set those dates and times and they are not for you to know. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After saying this, he was taken up into a cloud while they were watching, and they could no longer see him. As they strained to see him rising into heaven, two white-robed men suddenly stood among them. Men of Galilee, why are you standing here staring into heaven? Jesus has been taken from you into heaven, but someday he will return from heaven in the same way that you saw him go. Susie, that was amazing. No, it's such an amazing story. Jesus was so busy after he came back. I really wonder what he talked to the disciples about. Mm. Mm. And he gave them such a big job to do as well. He told them that they had to, had to tell people how loved and special they were by God and, and to treat people the way that Jesus was treating them. Yeah, I mean, that seems like a lot of responsibility. It was a lot of responsibility, but Jesus had given them all the tools that they needed and they could always talk to him through prayer. Just like we do today. Exactly like we do today. Yeah, well, I think it's time for our next song. And we're going to do one which is all about what Jesus told the disciples. It's everybody's welcome.
house of God Everybody's welcome Anyone can come Together in the house of God Family together The old and the young We'll join to worship as one Everybody's welcome Anyone can come Together in the house of God Family together The old and the young We'll join to worship as one Steady news, everyone. Yes, welcome back. So, Susie, there's something I think I should tell you. Okay. Well, it can't possibly be as shocking as the uh, time travel stuff, can it? Well, it turns out during this week, there's been some interruptions to our broadcast. And mm -hmm. while Ian was doing some very important um, safety stuff, Yes. Two angels, um, Rafa and Cherub, right. were interrupting the broadcast, but they were telling our trainees all about our stories. Looks like you were rumbled, Cherub. Susan and Tilly know you have gate crashed. Steady news. I know. I know. I would have got away with it too if boring Ian hadn't complained about the interruptions. My goodness! Poor Ian! It's really important health and safety! Yeah, I mean, poor Ian. But, 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 what an exciting reporting opportunity! Yeah. Especially for our newscasters. I mean, they get a heavenly viewpoint of the story. Yeah, I, I mean, I thought it was such a brilliant opportunity that um, I've invited Rafa and Cherub to tell us about today's story. Right, well, well I suppose that's okay. Brilliant! It's over to you, Rafa and Cherub. So, Cherub is on his first assignment as a newly trained newscaster. <laughs> Hello, Cherub. Are you receiving me? What is happening on planet Earth? We have a big reception party up here in heaven to welcome Jesus home. Receiving you loud and clear, Rafa. I am just about to do my piece to camera. Five, four, three, two, one. So, here we are reporting live from the Mount of Olives as Jesus says his final words to the disciples. It will now be up to them to take his message of the kingdom of God to the whole of planet Earth. Cut! Excellent reporting, Cherub. How have the disciples taken the news? Are they looking excited? Oh, Rafa, they look a bit muddled, if not downright scared. Jesus has made Peter the new leader. He's called him the rock. I wonder if that's because he kept sinking like a stone on Lake Galilee. Rafa, has Jesus thought of plan B just in case the disciples, you know, mess things up? Oh cherub, have some hope. Just listen. Tell me, what is Jesus saying? Hmm. He's giving them instructions. Okay, okay. Jesus is telling the disciples to wait in Jerusalem because Spirit is going to come and help them. Well, that sounds a bit more promising, Rafa. Indeed, Cherub. The boss won't let the disciples flap about like a wet fish. He will provide them with all they need to take his message of love, peace and salvation into the world. Yeah, got it. Spirit is brilliant at helping. But I guess, Rafa, 
The disciples will still need to have faith and courage. I can't wait to see what the disciples get up to next. In fact, I might watch the Book of Acts on Angel Flicks tonight. <sighs> Not tonight, Cherub. You have a party to go to, remember? Come on, back up to heaven with you, Cherub. Let's welcome Jesus home. Cool. Awesome. Bye-bye, planet Earth. See you soon. Now, where are my party poppers? Whoa, that was amazing. Those guys are so clever. Yeah, I mean, they had some really interesting stuff to say. And how lucky are they? They get to spend all their time with Jesus now. Yeah. I wonder what it's like for them. Yeah, I mean, I wonder what it's like for the disciples now. Yeah. Maybe our newly trained newscasters can have a look at the stories and see what it was like for the disciples going around and telling everyone about God. That's a great idea, Tilly. And I think I might go back and watch the rest of their interruptions. Because you know what? Rafa and Cheryl might have some really good things to say. But now it is time for us to move on. I think it's time for another song, don't you? Yeah, I think we should do our theme song, which we did every day mm. this week. newscasters showed off their really energetic dancing. They've been doing it all week. Yeah, it's been a really energetic week and we've had some super wild weather as well. On the first day we had burning hot sun. Then on day two there was wind, snow and hail. Day three had it raining actual cats and dogs. On day four it was some massive hailstones and then we ended with burning hot sun again. I mean it's been all over the place. We really have 
And along with that wild weather, we've met some really interesting people. Yeah. When Annie went back in time to interview them. We met Jesse, who saw Jesus riding into Jerusalem. Peter, who saw a woman pour perfume all over Jesus. Thaddeus, whose house Jesus ate at. And that was that dramatic meal. Do you remember where it was revealed that he would be betrayed? As well as John, who attended that meal. James, who saw Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. And we finally saw David and Mary, who were there when Jesus died and came back to life. It was great that we got to see all those awesome people. I knew sending Annie back in time would be a good idea. Yeah, I mean, I suppose it worked out okay in the end. Yeah, I knew we could trust Uncle G's time machine. Sure. <laughs> anyway, um, earlier today we told you that we can talk to Jesus through prayer and some of our trainees have written some lovely prayers to help us talk to Jesus. Do you think it'd be a good idea, Susie, for us to have a moment of quiet? Just before we talk to Jesus? Do you know what? I think that's a really great idea, Tilly. Let's have a moment of quiet and then we'll talk to him. Dear Lord, thank you for the lovely weather we've had recently, giving us excuses to have ice creams and ice lollies to cool us down. Thank you for the summer holidays, giving us time to rest and recharge after such a strange year. Thank you for our friends and families who have supported us during these times. And thank you to everyone at St Edward's for running services, youth group and promise, online and socially distanced when able. Dear God, thank you for all the love and all the food you've gave me and all the love inside me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for the animals and the birds. Amen. Thank you that Jesus is alive today and that he is our own special friend. Amen. Thank you for music and makes us feel happy. Thank you for... Our friends. Amen. We pray for people who are sad. Please help them to feel happy. Amen. Please let everyone have an enjoyable and safe holiday. Amen. Dear God, please help our friends and family know how loved and special they are to you. Amen. God, please help me to remember to talk to you about my friends and family. Amen. Dear God, sorry that sometimes we forget to make time for you. Help us to remember to make time for you every day. Amen. Father God, we're sorry. We're sorry that sometimes we don't love people the way you want us to. Please help us to be less grumpy and more kind. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, and forever. Amen. Amen. Thanks guys, you did an awesome job. Yeah, those prayers were brilliant. They were. Now it's time for our final song. We're going to sing Well Pa Well Hey. I hope you've got enough energy for it.
Jesus with all these new skills you've picked up. Yeah, I've really enjoyed training you. But I just want to say a big thank you to you, Susan. You've been such a wonderful co-host and I really don't think I could have done it without you. Well, that's lovely of you to say, Tilly. Well, I've actually, I've got you a gift. Uh, let me just go and grab it. Very exciting. Just, just hold on a minute. I'll just, uh, that's a bit dirty. Look, look, Susan, I made you a check. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, Susan. I'm so sorry. I think it's probably the thought that counts. Oh, well, in that case, um, it's been great having you all this week. Uh, see you later. 